we're here at the Quintessence Hotel. They describe it as a grand tropical mansion and that's exactly how it feels. You'll see as we go inside, this is where you arrive. The gardens are so lush. So you can see even just here through these banana trees, you can see the restaurants down there. And then this is the grand entrance here. And then you can't miss this, Relay and Chateau. Anguilla's first and only. Hi! So their designer worked with the owner to pan select all of these art pieces. Everywhere you look, there's just something that catches your eye. So pieces from Haiti, from Brazil, and look at this. The hotel has three stories, nine suites total. This is the grand room here. Very exotic, sophisticated. Mr. Feigler's favorite property in Anguilla has been Malihana. He wanted to capture the feeling of Malihana back in the 80s and 90s, and it really has that essence of sophistication. Very quiet, peaceful, tranquil. No children under the age of 12 are allowed to stay here. It's really about capturing that essence of calm sophistication, that quintessence. From this lobby, you go outside to the pool. The restaurant is here on your left, and then you have this beautiful infinity edge pool. That's a really good point. More sun chairs than rooms. A hot Tub as well. And this is something I see all over Instagram, these giant chess pieces. I want to see how heavy this is. The king is taller than you. It's so big. All right, so from here, if we turn and we look, you can see. So there's suites here and downstairs. There's suites there and there. The penthouse is up there. We'll go up there next. And then they have suites on the second floor and then on the bottom floor. And they look out to this beautiful view of Long Bay. The path here goes down to the beach. We'll walk down there later. So let's go take a walk inside. So you have powder room here, and then you have, there's a spa and gym. So let's go, there's an elevator here, and then there's the staircase, so let's go upstairs. There's this really cool room in here. This is my favorite part of the hotel. Look at this, it's called the Polo Lounge. It's a bar lounge, it's very cold in here. You can order drinks in here. There's a room with television in here. The use of leather it really feels like a polo lounge. You can actually use this space for conferences because huge flat screen TV, marble table. <music> Through the polo lounge, this is where one of the suites is located. It's called Brazil. So you come through here, Full vaulted ceilings, Brazil artwork. I mean, my dad would love this leather bed. The mirrors are like something out of Beauty and the Beast. All the touches and the choices. I love the lighting. Very romantic the way they go with the mirror. There's a little powder area here. Closet in the back. Full we'll marble bathroom in here. Double sinks. It's like real sponge. Huge sink tub. Fucking shower. I love that they have the scale. Thanks for opening the door to the toilet, Yuki. A really elegant, elegant room. I find it very stately. Oh, look at this. What's this? I'm so curious. It's so this is the top floor. This is the penthouse suite. This balcony is huge. This is a breathtaking view. It's infinity edge pool there. Sandy Island's out there. And then you have all the north side of Anguilla. You actually even see sandy ground down there, Crocus Bay. The style of couch, use of green, carpet, Buddha, lighting system. High vaulted ceilings. And through here you have, this suite has two bedrooms. You have the first bedroom here, four post bed. TV, palm tree kind of lamps. Through here, Marble bathroom. They even provide deodorant. They even provide deodorant? Oh my gosh. These are like the best amenities and bug spray. A smaller sink tub in here, walk-in shower, and then you have balcony out there. These lights though, turn them on. So pretty. Okay, so that's one bedroom. And these lights too. 
at the reflection on the wall, the designer Mark chose these lamps for the way that they light up the wall. It creates such a magical fairy tale kind of atmosphere, it's almost Moroccan. And the second bedroom. So this bathroom doesn't have a walk-in shower? Oh, it does. The walk-in shower is in the toilet. Okay, so that's the penthouse suite. This suite can be turned into two suites. So there's two suites up here, two suites on the second floor where we're heading now, and then two suites on the main floor and three downstairs. Let's go back downstairs. Okay, so that's two there, two suites here, one there and one through the polo lounge. Now we're going back down to the lobby. The lobby has one suite is down there, just past the restaurant. And then there is another suite over here across from the gym. So that's six. The other three are located. Wait, how do we get to the other level? Where's the stairs? Over here. We're on the hunt for the other three, the other three rooms. I think the other three suites are down here. The landscaping is just gorgeous. This path here, it goes down to the beach. Beautiful, cute waterfall. This pavilion is sort of designated for doing yoga if you want to come down here and do yoga in the morning. Here, this is one of the suites up here. The ground level suites. It's locked. I wonder if they let us in. Breezy in Anguilla today. Okay, so we found out there's three on the ground level downstairs. I'm gonna see if we can go in one of them. I'm really curious. Okay, hold on one second. Now we found Merla. Merla is the general Yay! manager here and she's gonna take us inside the suite. The suite's called Long Bay. We have a little private dining area there. You just can walk out to the gardens and the beach down there. And yeah, so here we go, Long Bay suite. This is really nice. Mid-century type furniture, the beautiful curtains. It really has that mid-century modern type feel. Mm, the mirrors. If you're ever on property and you get a chance to meet the designer Mark, he is such a kind man, just very genuine, sweet guy, and I think he's done a phenomenal job. The use of the woods for the cabinets. The mural back here captures the beauty of the gardens that surround the hotel. The headboard with intricate detail. Look at this. He really has done a fabulous job. Then you have TV, mini fridge, desk. I like this lamp a lot. And through here, little sitting area, powder area, full bathroom behind this frosted door. Very, very nice, very private, very calm. I wasn't really sure what to expect. My verdict is that the angle of Grand Tropical Mansion, I'm in love. I'm absolutely in love with that, with that idea. I think they've done a phenomenal job pulling it off. You know a hotel is pretty special when the basement suites are fantastic. You know, they've really done an amazing job. All right. Merla is leading us to the hidden suites that we couldn't find. Yes, Merla, you're on camera. <laughs> So this is the way, wow, this is like a hidden secret passageway. I love this. This is so cool. And there's a billiard room. This feels like the movie Clue. What's in the cellar? I'll open it for you. You're going to open the cellar for us? Yeah. And lock you in it. Yeah, just don't leave me there. They've got a pool table down here. Really kind of feels like a tropical move, like version of the movie Clue. Well, look at these hallways. I'm obsessed. I want to live here. So Merla just turned on the lights here. Look at the reflection this light it's, casts. It's Oh, wine so cellar. Two sections. This is the Julian's main cellar. And over here, Jeffrey Finder's private wine cellar. Wines that Jeffrey has been collecting. Wow. <laughs> Years. I mean, this really feels like a cellar. There must be hundreds of bottles in here. Yes. You know what the oldest bottle is? Or one of the more most expensive ones? So this is a 1995. Wow, Chateau de 1995. Don't drop it. Yeah. I know. Thousands of dollars gone. Yes. Thank you for bringing us down here. I never would have found this on my own. Wow. There's so many like secret nooks and crannies. Great use of space. Okay, so this is sea grape. I love the use of colors and wood. The banana leaf backdrop behind the bed. The texture of the desk. How the pillows pop with color. Your balcony out here. Flat screen TV. Mini fridge. Bottles of wine. Diet Cokes. Your bathroom in here. I'm actually a really big fan of this room. This is a really nice, private, peaceful, very peaceful room. Really nice. Thank you, Merla, for bringing us down here. So I, this is the second one. This one is a little bit different. Oh, wow, it's a kitchen. Oh, wow. This is the Meads Bay Suite. Is this the only room with a kitchen? Yes. 
gift. It doesn't have the view or the terrace that the other one has, but it has a full kitchen space here. Microwave, oven, stove, full fridge, sink. Is this a dishwasher? Yeah. Wow, full the full deal. How much does this room rent for a night? No, at this time of year. Yeah, in April. 650 a night? I really like it, yeah. All right, so back up here. I didn't even know that this existed. I didn't come that way when I was first here. So yeah, now time for lunch. This is the restaurant through here. Julian's at Quintessence. And it has this very, very tranquil, elegant dining room through here. Garden area through the back here. And then bar area. Hi! Outdoor dining with views of Long Bay's blues. It's, this is such a beautiful property. I love the pergola over the top there. Should we sit here? All right, let's have lunch, yeah. The menu is looks like everything sounds outstanding. Mansion gazpacho, miso citrus salad, island steam pot, lobster conch potfish, crayfish broth, coconut dumpling, lump crab cake sounds good, I love crab cake. I have grilled ham crostini, ribeye baguette, that sounds really tasty too. It's headed up by Chef Dominique, famous name in Anguilla. He, he was last at Cafe de Paris, now this is his home, so beautiful. We're starting with gazpacho. It looks really refreshing. Tell me, Yuki, how is it? Mm. Yeah, refreshing? It's like smoky. Smoky? Bit of a smoky flavor? They probably do like fire roasted peppers or something. Fire roasted peppers, yeah, it says that there's peppers in it. The Q Club sandwich comes with red potatoes and a curry mm. sauce. Aioli. Curry aioli. Mmm. All right, let's go first bite. I want to capture the first bite. It looks so yum. It does look really yum. I love, I love this piano playing in the background. What do we have in there? There's like ham, cheese, lettuce, egg. Oh, that's a pretty big sandwich. Okay, my turn, my turn. I got the panko crusted crab cakes. There's the red pepper aioli and like an apple slaw salad. Ooh, look at all that. That's like a lot of crab mixed in there. It's so much crab, oh my goodness. I like curry flavor, nice crisp crunch. Dominique is such a great chef. I mean, it's no surprise that his restaurant would get a Relay and Chateau standing, honestly. This is so good. With the aioli. 